Shalom. I'd like to start this lesson by saying, Kahalal Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Recha Kadash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone and to the hopeful elect pushing his word in truth and sincerity across the four corners of the earth. Um, this lesson is retitled Normal Man, Not Celebrity. Right? Because if you notice, a lot of, there were, oh, well, I'm not sure if they're still coming out, but for, there were a lot of celebrities saying, oh, really, you know, realizing that they're Israelites, you know, and all this stuff like Ice Cube, and then uh, I think Tris, Chris Nice Stratus, I believe that's her name. But she shaved her head bald. I think you know who I'm talking about. Um, yeah, but a lot of them are coming out and realizing that they're Israelites, which is great, you know, but. People start bigging them up, right? Like the two thirds are Israel. Israelites will start bigging them up and start following them and listening to them, just because they realize they're Israelite. But you know, because they're celebrities in the world and everything like that. But it's funny because that's why the Most High is not going to use those people. Because they're not prophets. Right? The Most High says he's not going to use a celebrity or someone with high esteem or high regard in society. Right? He's going to use someone of the low. Right, because like uh, Apostle Gab uh, Gabar made a very good point. He's like, if well, Braun went on the the, uh, the highways and byways and started preaching, you know, the crowd would be huge, right? Or Jay Z or whoever, right? But if you get a, a random guy, and nobody, right? Then you can really sort who who uh, this truth is for, right? Who who are the sheep? His sheep, right? Because the sheep are going to be of the low, the meek. Right, because like you're not gonna see LeBron do that anyways. He's not gonna do it. Because to do that, you would have to, uh, you know, basically turn his way uh, his back from the world. And he's not gonna do that. So I go First Corinthians, one, start twenty six. For ye see your calling, brethren, how that not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called, right? Right, because not many mighty, not many noble are called. So the mighty, you know, the, the athletes, celebrities, and noble, like people of high regard, you know, high intelligence, like um, Simmons, Russell Simmons, or those people, type of people, right? You know, we can see um, you know, they, when those those men are they're they're in the flesh, right? They're going after carnal things, physical things, money, regard, right? And it keeps say it, as you continue, it says, "But yeah, how have chosen to the foolish things of the world, right? And foolish because we to the world we look silly, you know, not not getting lineups, you know, not shaving our beards, you know, saying we don't eat pork or these other abominable." Foods, right? Not putting the woman over the man, right? To the world, we look foolish, right? Well, not to the most high. But yeah, how has chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise? So we confound the wise, the wise people of the world, right? Whether, whether it's of age, whether it's of, you know, um, schooling, right? Money. We confound them. And we're just going to go into the word confound. To condemn, curse, also to destroy, utterly, crush, ruin, disgrace, throw into a disorder. Yeah, we, and we throw them into disorder because we, just, we show them with the scriptures, which are the light, the Bible, we show them that they're their whole system, the whole way of life is is um, is wrong, right? It's out of order, right? So we condemn them. We curse them out. Now we give them, you know, we, we tell them what they're doing is wrong. They get a chance to repent, but, you know, if they continue to do that, then they get cursed out. And they're basically catching judgment anyways because they have to catch judgment for what they're doing anyways. So regardless, they're going to they're gonna be condemned, 
right? Because you have to face your judgment. Um, bring into disorder, especially of the mind or senses. Yeah, because their mind gets all disordered now because now we, 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 we uh, what's what I'm looking for? We altered their reality, right? The reality that they, the way they've seen things is it was totally wrong. And we told them, like, no, this is actually like this. And it shatters their, their reality in their brain. All right? Some of them lose sleep over it. Or senses, right? Disconcerted. Yeah, they get perplexed. Right? So I'm not going to keep going, but you see the point. And Yahweh had chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty. Yeah, so we same thing. Right? We're the weak things of the world because we don't have power and it's, we don't have money. Right? Majority of us don't have like money like these celebrities do. Like We don't have that. Um, we don't have any type of status of power or influence. Right? Like I said, like LeBron or any type of celebrity, any type of Jake celebrity. So we're weak. Right? But we but we're still able to confound the things which are, are mighty of the world, right? And base things of the world and things which are despised hath Yahweh chosen, yea, and things which are not to bring to not things that are, right? Yeah, because to the world we're base. You know, we're despised of the world because we don't well, because we, we we tell them the most high's name is Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Um, you know, you're Israelite, you know, you're you're we're supposed to be over these people, we are gonna be over these people. As I said it was in the beginning, right? You know, you're not supposed to be worshiping the woman. Because when first of all, when you worship the woman, she doesn't even respect you when you do that. You ask a real woman what, like what they respect, they're gonna tell you a man that know a man. And a man is a man that knows he's a man, that knows his worth, that knows he's supposed to be in charge. Right? A woman's not gonna respect a, a simp. Right? And especially in the nation of Israel, you know, there's a bunch of simps. They've been programmed to be simps. So they're always worshiping the woman, you know, putting her above everybody, above her above herself, above themselves. Right? When she doesn't want to be put like that. Right? Really and truly, like, you, they, they, women, if you notice, women cling more to the guy that doesn't treat them like that. The guy that actually cares more about himself. Now, they don't have the scriptures, so they're going to be unbalanced in that sense. They're going to be uh, extreme and wicked because they don't care about themselves too much. Right? You have to be, it's all about balance. But nonetheless, you have to care about yourself. You have to respect yourself. If you don't respect yourself, how do you how do you expect her to respect you? Right? And a man's supposed to <laughs> a real man's not supposed to treat her more than he uh, better than he treats himself. That doesn't make any sense. Right? But they are your glory also. Right? But nonetheless, they're not gonna they're not gonna see you as a prize if you don't see yourself as a prize. That is, you know what I mean? It makes no sense. So as these things, right, we're we're seen as the the base things of the world, the ones that are despised, because this is how we think. We think like this because this is the truth. This is the scriptures. The scriptures told us this is how you're supposed to be doing things. This is how you're supposed to be conducting yourself, right? Right? From Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. This is the way things are supposed to be. This is order, right? When it's like that, everything works properly. But we're, we're, we're establishing order in a wicked, in a disorderly uh, kingdom, right? right? And these celebrities are not going to do that. You're not going to hear LeBron go and say, oh, yeah, I'm above my wife. My wife is supposed to be uh, my servant. She's supposed to be, uh, she's supposed to cling on to me, right? You know, I'm not going to get lineups anymore. You know, I'm not going to eat no pork. All you guys that are sleeping with your friend's woman, you know, you guys are going off. That's adultery. You're not going to hear them say that. They won't say that because they're too scared because they like their, 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 their lustly delights of this world. Just like Egypt, when, they, when we left Egypt, we wanted to go back. Some of us wanted to go back because they liked the foods and the comfort and the, the, the warm, uh, I guess, I don't know what their houses were like, but the warm house, you know, instead of being out in the wilderness. But, in, but they're in the wilderness, but they had the most high. <laughs> so the most high wasn't enough for them, right? Which is nuts. Anyways, we're going to go to, I'm going to go on a rant, but Titus. 
<clears throat> one fifteen. Titus 1 and 15, unto the pure, all things are pure. But unto them that are defiled and unbelieving is nothing pure. Yeah, so. So unto the pure, all things are pure. So the elect are the pure. Right? They're going to do the right thing. Now, the elect are still in these, we're still in these bodies. We're still in these uh, chains of darkness. But we are following the law of statute of commandments to the best of our ability. Right? And as we grow... We're going to be following more and more and more and more laws. Right? Right? So that's why unto the pure, all things are pure. Because the elect are pure. Right? But unto them that are defiled, unbelieving is nothing pure. Right? So the two-thirds of Israel and everyone else, other nations, right? Nothing is pure to them. So you try to show them pure things which are right. Right? They they just they just can't do it. Right? They just can't do it because they don't believe. You know, the elect are gonna believe. Right? That's why they're able to do the, the right thing. Right? At least at least even try to do the right thing. The ones that don't believe are not even gonna try to do the right thing. They don't have the capability to do it. But even their mind and conscience is defiled. Yeah, so even their mind and conscience is defiled. That's why they can't do the right thing. Because even their mind and conscience is defiled. Everything about him is wicked. Which is why they have to go. Right? Can't save everybody. It's like you have a computer program and your computer has caught too many viruses. You just have to delete everything and start all over again. And you have to get a new computer. Because it's too damaged. Right? They, prof they profess that they know Yahweh, but in works they deny him. Yeah, so... These men, these celebrities, they're saying, you know, they're Israelites and everything like that. They say, oh, yeah, I believe in God. But at the same time, they're doing all the wicked stuff that you're not supposed to be doing in the scriptures. Everything that it tells you not to, be, to, not to do, they, they're, they're doing it. But yet they're saying that they believe in the Most High. And those are just the celebrities. You want to talk about the Israelite camps. You have Israelite camps that are still saying the name Jesus, Jesus Christ. You know, and saying the mark of the beast is, a, is um, an embargo. Or Christianity, right? So, but they're still saying they profess that they know the Most High, know they know Yahweh, but in the works that they do, they deny Him because they are denying Him. If you're not saying His name, you're denying Him, right? If you're not using the right names, you're denying Him. If you're not following the law, statutes, commandments, you're denying Him, right? And the ones you can follow, the ones you can follow to the best of your ability, right? Because there's only certain things you can do that you can't follow, like, uh, for example, Apostle Gabar was saying, like. Um, like if you went on a bus and you're in a, I mean, you sat on the bus in a seat where a woman was just, was just sitting where she was on her period, technically you're defiled. You are defiled because you, you know, you're supposed to be, while oh, she's on her period, she's not clean. So you're not supposed to be around a woman when she's on that. Right. So that's what it means. That's what the follow the law statute guys to the best of your abilities. The ones you can follow, you have to follow them. You have to do them. Right. Um, they profess that they know Yahweh, but in works they deny him, being abominable, abominable, wow, abominable, <laughs> and disobedient, and unto every good work reprobate. Yeah, so they are disobedient little children, spoiled brats, that are going to be punished because they wouldn't listen. Right. But this is why the most I chose the elect, because the elect are going to do the right thing to the best of their ability, right? Because they're the pure. They were the first. They're here from the beginning. That's why the elect are the only ones that are not going to take the ship. The elect are the only ones that are not going to take the, the, the V, right? They're the only ones that are not going to do it because they have that spirit because they're here from the beginning, right? Next to Yahweh Shai. Um, last one. It's Matthew 11, 25. <clears throat> At that time, Yahweh answered and said, I thank thee, O Father, Yahweh, Lord of heaven and earth, because thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent and has revealed them unto babes. Even so, even so, Father, for so... And Okay, so he has hid these things from the wise and the prudent. The wise and the prudent are the people... 
um, from the, of the world, right? The wise men and the prudent men, you know, pen, the men of high regard, like I was referring to, like celebrities, people that, you know, the, the have their degrees and everything like that in the world, right? But he's revealed to, unto babes, and babes are just babies, right? People that are weak, right? Because babies are weak compared to a wise and prudent man, right? A baby's weak because it's infant. It's small. It has, it's defenseless, right? That's who we are. We're weak. Even so, Father, so it seemed good in, this, in thy sight. All things are delivered unto me of my Father, and no man knoweth the Son but the Father, right? Right? So everything, all the things are delivered unto me of my Father. So everything is delivered to Yahweh Shai, okay? Because it's, it's in red. It's Yahweh Shai talking. And no man knoweth the Son but the Father, right? Neither knoweth any man the Father save the Son, and he to whomsoever the Son will reveal him. So if you don't, everything that was revealed to Yahweh Shai, if we don't know Yahweh Shai, if you're not saying his name, he's not going to reveal everything to you, right? So if you're saying his name is Jesus Christ, he's not, you actually don't have all, the, the, you don't have the full truth because he hasn't revealed everything to you, right? Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest, right? And ones that labor are heavy laden, you can also see as the ones that are in this world, like the elect that are in the world, and they're, they're, they're it's, it's demons, they're catching demons because this place is wicked, and they're being wicked, right? And, you know, Yahweh is the light, because he, he will he'll really, he will open your, your mind and tell you like, oh, you know, you actually are Israelite. You know, all this stuff that you've been feeling about this place being wicked, it's true. It is wicked. And this is why. Right? This is who you're, who you're supposed to be, your prophet, you know, one of the hopeful elect. But at this point, you have to believe you're one of the elect. Right? Right? So you're laboring, heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. Right? Also, it's also like labor. The ones that are laboring right now, they're in the truth. They're laboring, right? Because it's work, you know, putting on videos, studying, uh, going to highways and byways, you know, teaching, right? It's labor. But yeah, I wish I will give us the rest. We just got to keep working till, you know, until he gets here. Then we get to rest because we're in the kingdom. We get to rest. That's it. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. For I am meek and lowly in heart. So yeah, he is meek and lowly in heart, just like us. Take his yoke. Take his, take his yoke. Take his um. What's another word for that? Take on the coat, you know, the armor, right? And ye shall find rest unto your souls. Yeah, because once you find, once you come into the scriptures and you take on this yoke or this armor, right, and you bathe yourself in the waters of the scriptures. Your, your, your spirit gets to rest. It's like, oh, man. Okay. Wow. Because that's why these scriptures are the comforter. Right? That's why they're the comforter. And Yahweh Shai is the comforter. So you won't get the full knowledge if you don't get go through Yahweh Shai. So if you're calling Yahweh Shai Jesus, then you don't have everything. You don't have you don't have the 100% truth. Right? Right? And, you're, and find rest unto your souls. Your souls are rested now. Because now we know what's going to happen. You know, we know we just, well, we know exactly what we have to do and how we have to do it. And we know what's coming. Now we don't know exactly how, we don't know when it's coming, but we have a rough, a rough idea. If you're watching, you can see what's going on. All right? For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. All right? Because in the beginning, it's, it's sweet. But then, you know, it's sweet in your mouth with bitter in your, stom in your stomach. But after you keep doing it, I can talk for myself when I was, when I first came to the truth, you know, I was excited, everything, you know, I'm so good, you know, I'm an Israelite, and you tell me all these things I was doing wrong, I was like, holy smokes, because you've been so programmed to be doing wicked things because you were in the world, right, it's like the Matrix, exactly like the Matrix, right, so you're programmed to do these wicked things for so long that when you show righteousness, like, holy shit, this feels hard, this is, you know, it's, it's tough, but as you keep doing it, it comes easy, and you love it, right, it comes easy. Doing the wicked stuff is what makes you actually feel, um, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Burdened, right? You feel like, 
you feel like, oh my gosh, man, this place is wicked. Yo, yeah, yeah. So then you get to, you like to go out on the, the highways and byways. You like to make videos. You like to teach. You like to study. You like to learn more. You like to read the Hebrew, right? But uh, you know, hey, you how you how about Hashem? You have to be something with you for that to happen. But um, like I said, I hope this lesson was edifying. We're almost out of here. Don't take the, don't take the chip. Don't take the RFID. Don't take the V. And they're already reporting. I'm going to do a video. They're already reporting people getting allergic reactions from the V, right? Which I I made another video where it only makes sense because you're, these, for these Vs, you're supposed to take it takes ten to fifteen years for the trials for it to be complete, and they're doing it within a year, months actually, not even a full year. And they're already pushing it out. Yeah, because what they're doing, that this is the testing right now. They're testing it on the people right now. Instead of doing the whole process of doing the trials and their, 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 their study groups and everything like that, they're doing it right now with a population. And they're figuring out, okay, so this doesn't work. Okay, we have to tinker this. They're doing the testing stage right now. And people don't understand that. Anyways, I don't want to go into that. Uh, I hope this lesson was edified. I'd like to close out by saying, Ka'alau Yahawa, Bahashem, Yahawa Shai. Bahashem, Raka Kadash, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, unto a hopeful elect, pushing his word and truth and sincerity across the four corners of the earth, death and destruction to his wicked kingdom, and the two thirds as well. Kwam Yashrela, about the Baal, Shalom.